Hey, this is Nicole from Fabrication Studio. I want to share with you some things I've been working on on with the um, Kalise top down bottom up head rail. Um, I really, really love this head rail. It's just amazing to me that you can fit both the top down and the bottom up on one slim head rail that's only one and three eighths inches with the bracket. So um, you can really fit it into a lot of great spaces. And for me, it's totally a game changer because I've shied away from these for a while. There was just not very many great options. So I've been working on trying to figure them out so that I can share it with you. Um, this is a 54 inch wide shade and I tried it several different ways before I found uh, what I thought I really liked. And I started out by trying with ribs to just do two outside rows and it did not work at all. It was um, bellying. There was no, not nearly enough support with just the ribs. So I then added two um, middle rows and that worked really well. Um, no problem at all. But then I thought, well, what if it was like a double hung window and you wanted to be able to hide that, uh, that row of cords behind uh, the frame. So I tried it in the center because I wanted to see how far I could go with just one uh, single center row. And this worked really well. And I, you definitely could go another probably 10 inches. You could probably go up to 65 inches with just a center row depending on how you fabricate it. You really need ribs. You need something to, to support in between. This, um, because it's a blackout shade, I wanted to try the buckram method with it. And um, that's Susan Woodcock's buck buckram method, by the way. And it was great. Um, the only thing I had to do is I had to add a rib on top of the row because the amount of space in between these two rows was too much for the buckram only to have the support that it needed. But with that rib, that added rib, um, it gave it all the support that, I, that it needed. And as you can see, uh, it, it really looks very pretty. Not very pretty. So there's a lot of ways that you could do it. You could um, put a rib pocket on the front if you wanted. You could put a rib pocket on the back. You could just tack it every so often in between the rings to support that rib from, from flexing. Um, even though there's only three rows of rings, it's still tacked as though you were um, measuring it for a regular Roman shade for your ring spacing. Um, there's also, uh, I like this, where it is stitched top and bottom. It makes a really nice detail for uh, a solid shade especially, and then you can add your valance on top of that. One of the things that you have to think about is uh, each cord has its own spool. So the, the narrowest shade that you can do with the top down bottom up is 23 inches. And that's because for two rows, you need four spools. Four spools in the head rail with the two uh, clutches, you need 23 inches. Um, you need a minimum of 33 if you're going to have three rows and you need a minimum of 42 if you're going to have four rows. Uh, I think that you could easily do a 40 inch wide shade with just the outside. I think if you moved your two outside rows in a little bit, it'll give it just that much more support. I think there are a lot of options with this head rail. I love um, the ease of it. It operates really, really nicely. Very smooth. And I, as 